Welcome back to the Blitz. If anyone is going to win against Widefield, they better wrestle the ball away because two weeks into the season and the Glads are averaging 34 points per game, something that Pueblo Centennial was going to need to do tonight because they still hadn't scored a point all season heading into tonight's contest. Bulldogs and Gladiators, a gorgeous night at C.A. Foster Stadium. First drive, Connor Hayslet going to cut it back and in. The wide field was just beginning. Second drive, Angelo Thomas. A little drop off handoff there from Paul Mitchell. And there goes Thomas flexing in the end zone. And then off the kickoff, Mr. Everything for the Centennial Bulldogs, Jordan Gallegos. Nice little return here, brings it out to the 40. But Widefield rolling at this point. Quavion Bryant takes the pitch, and he is going to take it in. Widefield wins tonight. His score 52 in their victory tonight. Air Academy, Sand Creek, early third quarter. The Cadets up. Madax Daniels to King David Rogers. King David Rogers. K-D-R. Oh, look at that. They take it down to the five, and then Gabe Delamuth takes it in. Cadets now up big. Later on, R.J. Rodriguez of the Scorpions. He gets the offense going. Nice ball here to Ethan Nielsen. Then later on, Elijah Brotherins, one of the top wideouts in Southern Colorado. Kate so would win 41 to eight. Let's take you to Peyton. Noah Martin, he's a tough cookie for the Peyton Panthers. Just gonna take it himself and reaches over the goal line. That's good. Then Martin again, we saw him run. How about his arm? Brian Kiernitz, his third touchdown of the night, could be a player of the week, perhaps. And then Martin, they're going for two. Peyton, they win tonight, 26 to 14. Banning Lewis under the Friday night lights, hosting Yuma. Good high knees there. Tough first tap. Is that Russell Wilson on an airplane going to England? Never mind. Sam Bell, just going to run through that Yuma defense. Picking up a first down. And then quick handoff here to Chase Real. Oh, yeah. He wasn't going to beat tonight. Puts his head down and scores. And then that Stallions defense getting after the Yuma quarterback. Joseph Dugojevic playing a little center field. He's going to pick off the pass and seal the deal. Banning Lewis. They put up a bagel tonight as they went 14-0. Canyon City hosting Cheyenne Mountain. Good start for the Tigers. Marcus Lapari. Just gonna a little feathery touch there to Tyler Grouchy. And he does the rest. Tigers looking good early on in this contest. More from CC, Canyon City. Jake Adamite. Yep, he's in for Jake six more. But Cheyenne Mountain, they got it going here. Sam Hawker gonna keep it. And there he goes, the Hawk. <laughs> no, that wasn't I apologize. Later on, the Red Tail Hawks playing special on special teams. Punt is blocked. Will Weinstein picks up the piggy and takes it to the house. That kid has a knack for scoring TDs. Cheyenne Mountain picks up their first win of the season, 48 to 26. Harrison in Pueblo County. Jonathan Gonzalez, little end around, and Gonzalez, nice run as he bounces it outside, takes it to almost inside the red zone, and then Cohen Glenn for the County Hornets. He's just gonna keep it himself, goes left, tucks it in, goes in. Looking good there, but back home, the Harrison Panthers. Jirazi Spencer going to take it outside. Good block there. But he gets hit there by Wyatt Ferris near the sideline. And then Chacon Martinez for Harrison. Going to look downfield for Eminem. Maurice Martin. He's open in the end zone. But the Hornets back on the winning track as they win 40-7. Discovery Canyon. Boy, they had a tough test tonight. 
at D20 Stadium as they host the Lutheran. First quarter, down by a touchdown, Jacob Yusuf coming off the edge, and that's good for a sack. And then Ty Peters, a little tackle there at the line of scrimmage. DCC, always tough. And then Hayden Jones, going to put his head down and run. Scrambles for a big game, but Disco, they would fall tonight by a score of 45 to 7.